Right, guys, back again uh, just with a final update on this uh, modification to this Rex C100. Um, something I didn't mention earlier, and in fact, I, I'm not even sure I realised myself until I started taking uh, this apart and looking at where these wires need to go. Um, where I took the relay out earlier, I said the live was on this. Uh, just get this a bit closer. Uh, the live was on this now empty middle pin of the relay. Um, what I didn't twig was, of course, this isn't uh, this isn't live coming from the uh, PID itself. Um, of course, what it is is this uh, not connected now uh, pad is another uh, AC in to the relay, and then it is then sent out. Uh, through the output uh, connections so you not only need the AC in here to power the unit but you would also need a separate fused AC uh, input on this pin to go to the relay so ju just something I uh, hadn't mentioned earlier and wasn't even sure I realized myself um, so obviously I can leave that disconnected now so all we've done here is connect the mains, that's on a, a plug. Uh, we have uh, the two connections here that we need and on the back I've uh, again used all of the connections and uh, I've just fed them through the holes in the back and there is just enough room uh, to accommodate the thickness of the wire and the solder when you Put this case back together again and uh, that's how they will look coming out the back so we now have no live or exposed terminals whatsoever and um, when I'm happy that this is all working correctly I will just uh, seal those off with uh, a little blob of uh, silicon into each uh, empty terminal space but yeah, there's no problem putting that back together again. All that needs is a little push and that will click into place. But I'm going to just leave it open and uh, until I'm sure everything is okay. Uh, at the other end, in my case, I have found an old uh, TV harness cable. I suspect this is a old power supply cable. So I've snipped off the, the plug from one end. And this end, for the moment, I'm going to leave it on there. It keeps all the cables separated. And uh, I might actually use a PCB and uh, be able to click this into, uh, into place. Um, but uh, yeah, that's for another time. For the moment, I'm just going to plug this into the mains, connect the thermocouple up to it, and uh, just make sure it's working as it was before. And uh, that'll be it. Sorry if you can hear the rain on the roof, it's uh, it's really chucking it down here at the moment. So yeah, just an update, so I think that's probably the last one on uh, how to modify this uh, and get rid of all those terminals. Uh, so yeah, catch you later.